Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kauzer Weiss and this is a continuation video of dissolution of a partnership firm. Okay, you can find the playlist link in the description box. In this video, we are going to see insolvency of a single partner. In that, we have two different methods. The first one, fixed capital method and the next one, fluctuating capital method. Now, we are going to see one numerical problem for fixed capital method. Now, let's see the problem. See the problem insolvency of a partner according to garner west murray rule when capitals are fixed see the problem a b and c are partners sharing profit and loss in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1 respectively the firm was dissolved on 31st december 2022 on which date its balance sheet was as follows liability side asset side under liabilities Capital account A, B, C, A's current account, creditors, bills payable, bank loan. Under asset side, plant and machinery, stock, debtors, cash at bank, B's current account, C's current account and profit and loss. This is loss. Okay, debit balance, no, loss. Okay, now see the adjustment. Plant and machinery, stock and debtors realized for 35,000, 22,000 and 30,000 respectively. The dissolution expenses amounted to rupees 1,000. C is insolvent. So out of three partners, one partner is insolvent. That is C is insolvent. The remaining two partners are solvent. So what is the meaning of insolvent? So insolvent partner means that particular partner's liabilities are more than his total asset. Then it will become insolvent okay so out of three partners a b c c is insolvent which means the remaining two partners are solvent solvent means they are capable okay so c is insolvent but his estate pays 500 rupees so he could able to pay only 500 rupees towards his total deficiency okay then with this information they are asking you to prepare necessary ledger accounts to close the books of the firm by applying garner west murray rule okay i'll tell you what is the meaning and what is the effect of garner west murray rule in the insolvency of a single partner okay along with the solution i'll tell you now let's see the solution first we need to prepare realization account okay so while you prepare the realization account you'll be getting either profit on realization or loss on realization Whatever may be the result that will be transferred to partner's capital account according to their profit sharing ratio. But in this problem, since they are maintaining fixed capital method, okay, the balancing figure will be transferred to their respective current account. Instead of capital account, we are going to transfer the balancing figure to the partner's current account. Let's see how to prepare realization account. First step, we need to transfer all the assets and all the liabilities and provisions to realization account. Now let's see the problem. See the balance sheet. We need to transfer all the assets except three things. What are the three things we need to exclude? Cash or bank balance, any capital or current account debit balance and profit and loss debit balance. So except these things, we need to transfer all other assets to realization account, plant and machinery, stock and debtors okay in the same way we need to transfer all the third party liabilities so what are the third party liabilities creditors bills payable and bank loan these are the three third party liabilities we need to transfer these items to realization account debit side and credit side see the realization account so debit side we have entered all the assets and credit side we have entered all the third party liabilities okay now See the adjustment. Now, see the adjustment for realization of cash and payment. Okay. Plant and machinery, stock, debtors were realized for 35,000, 22,000, 30,000 respectively. Okay. So, the total realization amount we need to enter under realization account credit side. Okay. These are the total realized amount. At the same time, we need to enter payments also. So, the first thing is, the dissolution expense amounted to rupees 1000 paid. Okay, but nothing is mentioned about the third party liabilities. Whether the information is given in the adjustment or not, it is mandatory to repay all the third party 
liabilities. Okay, since nothing is mentioned, assume that the total amount we have paid. So, how much credit has? 20 bills payable, 10,000. Bank loan, 8,000. Okay, now let's see the realization account for total realization amounts and total payments. See the solution. So, realization account, we have entered total assets realized for 87,000. 35, 22, 30. Total, 87,000. Okay, at the same time, we need to enter all the payments. So, what is the first one? Realization expense, no. Two bank expense, 1,000. And two bank, all the third party liabilities. 20,000, 10,000, 8,000. Total, 38,000. Okay, after entering all these things, now we need to close realization account in order to find out the balancing figure so usually you will be getting only loss on realization for dissolution okay see the realization account we have got 21000 balancing figure that is loss on realization this will be transferred to all the partners capital account if they maintain fluctuating capital method okay but in this method they have maintaining fixed capital no so that the balancing figure will be transferred to all the partners current account the loss will be transferred to A's current account, B's current account and C's current account according to their profit sharing ratio. What is the ratio? 3 is to 2 is to 1. No. If the ratio is not given in the problem means then you can share equally. Okay. Since they have given you have to follow the profit sharing ratio. Okay. Now let's see how to prepare current account. See the current account of partners A, B, C, A, B, C debit side and credit side. Okay. Now start with their opening balance. Let's see the balance sheet to find out their opening balance. Look at the balance sheet. A is having credit balance. So current account is given under liability side. No, credit balance. Whereas B and C having debit balance. Current accounts are mentioned under asset side. Okay. Now start with their opening balance. See the current account. A is having credit balance. Whereas B and C having debit balance okay this we have taken from the balance sheet okay now the next step is we need to transfer if there is any accumulated profits or accumulated losses if any for that see the balance sheet see the balance sheet okay if there is any general reserve or any accumulated undistributed profit that will be there in the liability side in this problem there is no such accumulated profit but here we have accumulated loss. Okay. That is a debit balance of profit and loss. This is a loss. How much? 4,000. This will be transferred to all the partners current account debit side according to their profit sharing ratio. 3 is to 2 is to 1. Okay. See the current account. We have transferred the accumulated loss to all the partners current account according to their profit sharing ratio suppose if you find any general reserve or any profit credit balance that will be transferred to credit side of current account but in this problem nothing is mentioned that's all we have transferred the accumulated loss okay now the next step is uh, we have prepared realization account no see the realization account here we have loss on realization and this amount also need to transfer to current account of a b c 10500 7,000 and 3,500. Okay. According to Garner West Murray rule, the loss on realization of solvent partner. Who is insolvent? C is insolvent. No. Except C, the all other solvent partner need to bring cash equal to realization loss according to their proportion. Now we need to enter these amount under credit side of current account. Okay. Assume that the solvent partner has brought cash equal to realization loss. Okay. By bank. How much for A? 10,500. B, 7,000. C, need not bring any cash. The reason is C is insolvent. Only the solvent partner has to bring equal amount of realization loss. This is the first impact. That is the first effect of Garner West Murray rule. So another impact is there that I will explain along with the solution. Now we need to close current account. The balancing figure will be transferred to the respective partner's capital account. For B and C, they are getting balancing figure under credit side and A is getting balancing figure under debit side. Okay, so these balancing figures will be transferred to their respective capital account. 
So while you prepare the capital account, according to Garner West Murray rule, we need to prepare separate capital account for solvent and separate capital account for insolvent partner. Now let's see how to prepare capital account for all the three different partners. So insolvent capital account separately and solvent partners capital account separately. So according to this problem, A and B are solvent and C is insolvent. Okay. Now first enter the opening balance. For that, see the balance sheet. Okay. All the partners, they are having credit balance. Okay. Capital account A, 45,000. B, 25,000. C, 5,000. Okay. This is the opening balance. That is by balance brought down. See the capital account. C is capital account by balance 5,000. And A and B by balance brought down 45 and 25,000. This is the opening capital balance. Okay. Now we need to see the current account. In current account we have got balancing figure. No. So whatever may be the balance that will be transferred to their respective capital account. See the current account. A is getting balancing figure under debit side. No. This will be transferred to credit side of capital account. And B and C, they are getting balancing figure under credit side. No, this will be transferred to their respective capital account debit side. Okay. We have entered current account balancing figure to the respective capital account. Okay. C is getting debit balance and B is also getting debit balance. Whereas A is getting credit balance. So, we have entered current account balancing figure to their respective capital account. Now, we need to close insolvent partner capital account first in order to find out the total deficiency. Okay. Before you close the insolvent partner capital account, just see if there is any amount contributed by insolvent partner. See the question. See the adjustment here. C is insolvent but his estate pays 500 rupees. Okay. The insolvent partner contributed 500 rupees. No. So, any contribution made by the insolvent partner that will be credited to his capital account. Yet, this amount need to credit it to C's capital account. See, the insolvent partner capital account, we have credited bank account. This is the amount contributed by insolvent partner. Okay. So, after entering this, now we need to close insolvent partner capital account in order to find out the total deficiency. Okay. So, if we get any deficiency, surely you will be getting deficiency. That amount will be borne by solvent partner according to their capital ratio. Okay. See, according to Garner West Murray, there are two important effects are there. Number one, the loss on realization will be transferred to all the partners capital account or current account. No, the solvent partner need to bring cash equal to realization loss that is the first effect that we have seen the second important effect is whatever deficiency getting for insolvent partner that amount will be bear by the solvent partner according to their capital ratio so this problem is fixed capital method so that the capital ratio can be calculated from their capital proportion that you can find out from the balance sheet old balance sheet which is given in the problem so that will be the capital ratio if they are maintaining fixed capital method okay in case of fluctuating capital method there is a separate calculation in order to find out the capital ratio okay that we will see in the next video so now we need to close insolvent partner capital account to find out the total deficiency that will be shared by solvent partner according to their capital ratio. Let me show the calculation. See the insolvent partner's capital account here is getting 1167 deficiency and this amount will be transferred to A's capital and B's capital. That is these are the two solvent partners now according to their capital ratio. See the balance sheet liability side. A is having 45,000 and B is having 25,000. So the proportion is 9 is to 5. So according to their capital ratio, we need to transfer the deficiency of insolvent partner to all the solvent partners capital account. And see the solvent partners capital account we have transferred. That is we have entered C's deficiency. A 750, B 
417. Now we need to close solvent partners capital account. Okay. So while you close the solvent partners capital account, you will be getting balancing figure. Okay. Either debit side or credit side. If we get any balancing figure under debit side, that is the final settlement made to the respective partner. Suppose if you get any balancing figure under credit side, that is the amount additional contribution made by the solvent partner. Now let's see whether they are getting debit side balancing figure or credit side. See, solvent partner's capital account, they are getting balancing figure under debit side. So this is the amount, final settlement made to A and B. Okay, while you close the solvent partner's capital account, you will be getting balancing figure. So here we have got debit balance. So this will be transferred to bank account payment side. This is the settlement made to partners know. So, this will be entered under payment side of bank account. Now, let's see how to prepare bank account. See the balance sheet. Cash at bank. Okay, how much? 1500 now. So, this is the opening balance that is debit balance. Two balance brought down 1500 and just see all the realization that is a uh, inflow receipts will be entered debit side of bank account and all the payments will be entered under credit side of bank account see the adjustment so these are the realization or uh, inflow that is receipt 35000 22000 and 30000 okay and then this is the payment okay dissolution expense paid now 1000 payment and third party liabilities also paid now this will be entered under payment side and C has contributed, that is insolvent partner contributed 500 now. This will be entered under receipt side. Okay. And finally, we have got balancing figure under solvent partners capital account. That is a final payment made to solvent partners. Okay. That will be entered under payment side of bank account. Now, let's see the bank account. See the bank account. So, debit side opening balance. This we have taken from the balance sheet. Cash at bank. How much? 1500 and this is the total assets realized for cash. How much? 87,000. And this is the amount contributed by insolvent partner, 500. And these are the two realization loss contributed by the solvent partner. See the current account. So the realization loss related to A and B, 10,500 and 7,000. Okay, this amount will be contributed by the solvent partner. Okay, 10,500 and 7,000. This will be transferred to bank account under receipt side. Okay. This I have taken from the partner's current account. So, A's current account 10,500 and B's current account 7,000. Okay. These are the total inflow that is receipts. Okay. Now, let's see the payments. The first one, realization expense paid. How much? 1,000. And all the third party liabilities also we have paid 38,000. And this is the final settlement made to A and B. A how much? 45, 250 and B 22, 250. Okay. Now you have to close the bank account. While you close the bank account, you won't be getting any balancing figure. Total receipts is equal to total payments. Okay. See the bank account. We have entered all the receipts and all the payments. Okay. And the total amount is how much? 1,6500. 1,6500. So this is the way to prepare necessary ledger account under insolvency of a single partner according to fixed capital method so far we have seen three different videos in the next video we are going to see insolvency of a partner according to fluctuating capital method you can find the playlist link in the description box hope you like this video please hit the like comment subscribe and share with your friends thank you